Alright, for this card trick, it's impromptu, which means there's no deck setup. The deck can be borrowed, and I can even show you that. So, the cards are all mixed, and um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to find a couple of specific cards out of the deck. I'm actually going to look for the two red aces. Let's see, there they are. The two aces. Okay, for this week's trick, what I'm going to do is teach you something called the card locator. And it's a way to find a couple of cards out of a shuffled deck. So this is completely impromptu. Start out by showing everybody that the cards are mixed. And what you're going to do is right there what I did is got a break right above that queen. You're just going through. What you're going to do is once you see the first card you want to locate, that's say the red queen, you're going to push it forward and you're going to feel that card underneath with your pinky. And you're going to get a break right on top of that card. Then you're going to keep going through as if nothing had happened. You're looking for the next queen. Once you see it, you're going to push it forward and you can kind of tilt this part of the deck down. What you're going to do is put your ring finger above that queen, above the queen. And then you're going to keep going through as if nothing had happened. So this is a double break. First one, pinky. Next one is going to be a ring finger above it though. So after you've done this, what you're going to do is square up the deck. While you square it up, you're going to put your pinky in the first break and remove your ring finger. Pinky in the first break, remove the ring finger, in the, uh, ring finger of your left hand to remove the pinky. So this is creating another double break situation with your pinky and ring finger in the top ones. All right, so there's the uh, first queen. Then what you're going to do is immediately just pick up half of this deck or from the break, so this will send this queen to the top of the deck after we've cut, put it on the table. You can do a couple more little cuts here, um, but what you want to do is for the last cut, you want to swing this down so they don't see that queen. So you're going to flip this packet like so. So flip that packet, and then you're just going to pick this up and flip it onto the deck like that. So that's just going on top of the deck. What this has done is put both of the queens on top and bottom. You might need to rewatch that. That's kind of complicated, but it's a good way to get a hold of a couple cards impromptu. Then what you're going to do, you can either thumb down the bottom queen, or you can just pull down with your pinky, but you're going to get a thumb break, cut part of the deck, drop that queen on top, just like this, and then you can either do a couple more cuts, maintaining your break, or whatever you want, just cut this card back to the top, so now we have both queens on top. Then there's a little production, which you can do here, is you want to break under the top two cards, the queens, and the production looks like this, okay, roughly. Um, so what you're going to do is get a break there. You're going to slide them over like a double, then you're going to bend them and push forward that first one with your thumb, and that will pop it onto the deck like this. The second one, you're going to slide and spin like this. So, like that, just with your hand, okay? So, and it looks like that. What you're going to do is after you've done this, you're going to freeze this image in their mind. Then you're going to move this queen back like this. All right, so just going an extra little flourish. Count off one, two cards, square them up. Then you're going to use your index finger and ring finger to flip them back onto the deck or your table if you prefer. So, one more time, break under two. you found the two queens. So, that's the trick for today. This is part of a three-part routine um, that I posted, and the next two parts will be in coming weeks. So, check those out.